Hi everyone, Sif Alchemist here. In this video, I'm going to do a reading. And this reading is going to be about what the spirit around you wants to communicate to you. So I'm going to open the portal with the spirit realm and communicate with the spirit around you. This is a collective reading. It's not an individual one. So the people who are going to view this video are going to benefit from it one way or another. The spirit that will communicate is going to benefit every person that watches this video. This could be the spirit of one of you, the viewers, the spirit that's in your room, or it could be the spirit that's in my room, that's right here. Whichever spirit that communicates, and in the spirit realm, let me remind you that time doesn't exist. Time and space, they don't exist. So the spirits, the entities, they can communicate with each other. They can actually basically be at the same time, at the same place, in a manner that we don't comprehend. So the entities around you, and these could be spirits, demons, loved, past people who used to be human beings, anyone that's around you. I'm gonna open a portal and I'm going to communicate with them. And let's see what they have to say. And the tool I'm going to use is tarot, my mediumship and my psychic abilities. Let's get right to it. I am opening the portal between our realm and the spirit realm for a message for all of the viewers of this video that I'm shooting right now. We need a message that's going to benefit them. It's going to benefit their growth. It's going to benefit their lives and it will help them become who they truly are. I hereby declare the portal opened. Come through. So I'm going to use smoke as well. I'm going to use all the tools to see what the message is for you. What you need to hear, anything that comes, but it's specifically from the spirit realm, from your spirits or any other spirits, could be from my spirits as well. Let's see. Okay. All right. Okay. So, the message that I have here, I got. These cards are a little bit concerning. Whatever is coming to me right now, I cannot deny it. I cannot change it. I cannot sugarcoat it or control it. I got the tower card upright. I got the universe reversed and the prince of swords reversed. So this is the message. That the, that, that the spirit realm, that, this, that your spirits want to communicate here, is that there's something that's going to happen. Something that's going to happen, or something might be already happening right now as we speak, that is going to change your life upside down. It's going to change your life upside down, it's going to cause some trouble, it's going to cause some complications in your life. It's going to cause some complications in your life and you're supposed to pay attention to it. This event that's going to happen 
the universe is upside down here. You're going to feel like the universe is not supporting you. You're going to feel like your spirit guides are not supporting you. You're going to feel like the universe is closed. Here we have the Princess of Swords. It's also reversed. This card here, I hear them say that this is the spirit guides, the underworld. Uh, basically the guys that are around you. They're saying that they're... It's, it's almost like when this thing is going to happen, you're not going to hear them. You're not going to hear their support. You're not going to hear what they're trying to tell you because you're going to be devastated. So something is going to happen that gonna make you, that's going to make you devastated. It's going to make you rethink your life, rethink everything. And when it happens, it's going to feel like the universe is closed. It's going to feel like every door is closed and there's nothing around you that can fix anything. And it's gonna feel like you don't have any support. It's gonna feel like the, the demons, these demons that are giving you the message, it's gonna feel like they're not with you, they're not talking to you, they're not, they don't care for you. The universe, the universe's doors are closed. No one is giving you support. And you're gonna feel, it's gonna feel almost like a traumatic experience for whatever is coming, which is concerning. It's concerning. Um, I'm gonna clarify more by pulling a couple more cards and checking what the smoke has to say. However, the bottom of the deck here we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is the message just telling you that regardless of what's gonna happen, regardless, it's the, the universe reversed and The tower card, the spirit guides, feels like you don't have any support, feels like you don't have anyone around you who's understanding what's happening to you. And regardless of that, they want you to know that it's going to be better. It's going to be good. It's a phase. It's going to pass. You're going to have all of the success, all of the abundance that you've been looking for. Here, Pentacles, they're telling you that money-wise, you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about money. Whatever is going to happen, it's going it's, it's, it's gonna, to it's gonna shock your life. But you might also feel like, oh my God, my money is going to be disappearing. How am I going to make money or something like that? That's what I'm hearing. But they're saying that don't worry about money. Money is going to be taken care of. Your guides, your entities, your demons are going to do what's necessary for the money to come to you. So this experience that's going to shock you and scare you probably, you should, um, you sh you should welcome it as a phase of life, as a phase that's going to hit, it's going to pass and everything's going to be okay. Let's move on and see I, I want to clarify more about how should we go about this situation that's gonna happen how should we go about it so I want to clarify can you please clarify how should we go about this situation that's clearly not positive how should we go about it how should the viewers go about it Okay. Okay. Um, so, the bottom of the deck, the justice card. So, we have justice here. So, this is to, and I'm going to show you the other cards and say what I'm hearing. This is to teach you a lesson. It's to teach you a lesson that there's something that you've done in the past that wasn't wise. You've done something, it was not wise, and now you're paying the price. So justice is served. You didn't do diligence. You didn't do your homework. You didn't do what you were supposed to do when you had the opportunity, when you had the guidance, when you had everything aligned 
you decided to ignore it, you decided to slack, you decided to do nothing about it, and now justice is served. Now you're gonna have to pay the price. And you're gonna pay this price so you don't have to pay it again. So you're gonna learn not to do that again. You're gonna have to learn that your value in life, the value that, that you're given, that you should always first give it to yourself before you think that it needs to come from others. That's lesson one. You need to learn about that. Give the value of life and give it to yourself. You don't need to wait for, for someone else to tell you how uh, valuable you are in your life. That's one. Number two is to teach you that the only way to create your empire, to be successful, to be uh, like to, to, to thrive in life, to get the things that you want. Basically what human beings want in a human reincarnation. The only way to get them for you, the only way for, to get them for you is to earn them. Here at the bottom, we have this message that says, Lord of earned success. The only way is to earn them. You have to work for them. You have to do the work. You have to put in the work. You have to do the necessary phases, the necessary steps, the necessary research, the necessary connections, the necessary uh, uh, any, anything, anything that has to do with, with getting to that level, getting to that success, getting to that, um, to that glory that you're looking for. You have to earn it. You have to work for it. And the problem here is that it might look like some other people, some other human beings are lucky. They're just getting it without any work, without any effort. Well, the lesson here is that why do you even compare yourself? You're not them. They are them. They have what they have because they're lucky, because they, they want. They're, they're, they're more advanced soul. They know what to do. Their souls are probably more advanced. They've been around longer. And they know they, they knew how to reincarnate in this lifetime with better circumstances. They, they just knew how to do it. Maybe your soul is not very advanced. Maybe your soul is still learning. Maybe you, you, need, um, you need to work for the things that you want. You're not going to get them until you work for them. And I don't mean it literally. I don't mean like you have to go find a job to work. You know what I'm saying here. I'm just, I just mean you need to embrace who you truly are, be consistent with it, do what needs to be done to become who you truly are. If you're a witch, if you're a mage, uh, most of you here, uh, the, the ones you see in this, you're the people of wisdom, you're the people of the occult. You need to, uh, to do research on the occult, you need to practice your craft, do your rituals, do your tarot readings, speak to the spirits. Uh, if you get any nudges, any, any messages in from the spirit realm, these intuitions, don't ignore them. S stop trying to fit in all the time. Stop trying to be normal all the time. Embrace who you truly are. Be crazy. Use your gifts. Use your abilities. The world is lacking for people like us. It's in a lack. If anything, if you and me and them and people with, who are given these gifts abilities, if we don't spread it around, it's gonna die. It's gonna die and it won't exist anymore on earth. And it could be actually, it could be, it's even the mission. It's even the mission why we're here, why gifted people were born on earth. So remember that it's necessary to embrace who you are to do the work, to practice your craft, to do the research, because that's how you gain that success that you want. That's how you gain that, uh, um, the value and also the rank. That rank, that chair, that high chair, that high pedestal that you wanna be at, that's how you get there. For you, the viewer, don't compare yourself to others. Other people get it easier. You have to be in peace with that. 
some other human souls just get things easier. Some other human souls get success easier. They get money easier. They get everything easier. There And that is has its own reasons. It has its own reasons. So you can't compare yourself to the people who have it easier and say, well, what about other people? They don't even work hard yet. They're successful. For you, you need to do the work. For you, the viewer. Because justice is unfortunately being served right now. Justice is being served. You have to go through this phase. You have to go through this stage. And you're still having the support, even if, you, even though you think you're not having it, but you're still having it. But when that thing hits, you're going to feel like you're not having any support. It's going to feel like you're, you're, on, you're on your own. So I hope this video is going to help you a little bit when you see it. Because I think by the time you see this video, by the time you see it, that thing's going to happen already. So I hope this video is going to lighten up the mood a little bit and remind you that everything is going to be good. Everything is going to be great. Let's pull one more card from your spirit guide to see what they want to say. One more card from the spirit guide. All of a sudden, I feel a change of energy. The energy has become positive. It has become better. It has become less tense. It's kind of weird. I feel like a change of energy. So let's see what card fell here. Okay, so this card here, it says the three of swords. So <laughs> let's see what the bottom has. Three of wands. So three of swords and three of wands at the bottom. So this, the message here is that this experience is going to make you sad. It's going to make you, uh, it's, it's, it's going to take you to a lower vibration. It's, got, it's not going to be, it's not going to feel good. But the reason why is because it's going to make you stronger. It's for strength. You need to be stronger than, than you are right now. You're not strong enough. This is justice being served. It's going to make you more of who you are. It's going to make you stronger. And what's it's just part of life. It's part of your course of life, your alignment. But again, this is happening because you did not hear the message before. The calling, it's almost like it feels like a punishment. It feels like a punishment. That's why the justice card came earlier feels like a punishment for not doing what you were supposed to do and the only way to learn is this way whatever is gonna happen and one last card is after you learn your lesson after you become stronger after you do the work after you embrace who you are you're gonna become the princess of Pentacles the start of success the start of abundance is gonna be here for you and everything is gonna be amazing it's gonna be the start of a new amazing phase, which probably gonna coincide with the year 2022. I have a very good feeling about the year 2022 for you guys. Um, I think it's gonna be a great year. I think it's it has been a while. 2022 is gonna be it's gonna be a, a year. It's gonna be a special year. It's gonna be very different. Probably in the last decade. Probably since 20. I think since 2020, all the way till 20. Um, uh, sorry, I meant since twenty since twenty ten all the way till twenty twenty, with the pandemic hitting and the world going through so much madness. Twenty twenty two, I feel is gonna be the first year where everything is going to change for the better. For the better, I have this very good feeling about the year twenty twenty two. So this is great for you guys. It's amazing news. It's gonna be okay. Don't worry. It's just a phase. Like everything in life is to make you stronger and it's so you don't make the same mistake again because that's how you learn all right guys i hope this helped and i'll see you in the next video and i'm going to close the portal right now i hereby declare this portal closing so all the spirits please go to where you came from and thank you for your guidance, for your help, 
and for your presence. We acknowledge you, we know you are here, and we thank you. 